Hello campers! I am the Canadian Beaver, also known as Smiling Scott. I hope each and every one of you are doing great. Today I'm doing the Stealth Camping Alliance September Airport Challenge. And I found the perfect location for this challenge. And that is, of course, the one, the only, the Canadian Aviation and Space Museum. Also, there's a Rockcliffe Airport uh, Club just behind here. So I'm gonna explore, I'm gonna see if I get into a little bit of trouble, and I'm going to follow my nose. And let me reassure you, this adventure will not be plain. This is the other side of uh, the Canadian Aviation uh, Museum. And this is called the Rockcliffe uh, Aviation Club. And they got tons, and I mean tons, of little airplanes right here. Here's one right there. I wonder where this one will ever go to. But they have, I would say, oh, at least over a hundred planes just right here in this location. I think one of those big uh, old Baron planes just took off and is just about to go over us right now. Uh, the sun is going down but it's just up in the sky there and I think that's actual the actual plane they used on uh, the Canadian Amazing Race uh, for this season. So you can always rent those ones out. And that's an old-fashioned uh, biplane, <laughs> which is pretty neat. So we'll probably see that going by all night <laughs> and hearing that. But since I've uh, been here, there's been tons of planes going by, just uh, landing and uh, taking off, which is totally awesome. So I think I found the right place. I think this qualifies as the airport challenge. Very cool. Hey campers, viewers, do you notice something? Do you notice? Let me know in the comments. It looks like I won't be stealth camping inside the airfield. And uh, I'm not climbing this. That would be painful. Touchdown! Ooh, that didn't sound good. Okay, the airfield is right there. And I am just on the other side. There's a road just over here that separates the airfield. I came here earlier because I have a big backpack and I don't want to see a guy coming in here with a big pack backpack with a bike and everything else and I guess it doesn't really make sense because I'm going in there now and I did it earlier so uh, I guess it just a little bit easier for me uh, I put in all my stuff in the woods here hopefully it is still there so I'm crossing my fingers so let's go and I decided to bring my bike today I just got off the main path right there and I'm going down here. I put my bag just in the trees over there and if you could see just over there is the good old Ottawa River and some guys fishing out there. So I'm also next to the Ottawa River. Hi. Hi. I guess this path isn't uh, that stealthy. 
A woman in a bike just literally uh, snuck up right behind me and I didn't even notice while I was filming. <laughs> Oh lovely, this is going to be one interesting night. I am walking through all this high grass and I'm hoping there is no ticks. That would not be fun. And ta-da, all my stuff is still there. I got all my stuff and now I'm looking for a spot. I should have done some reconnaissance before I came but hey, I guess I'm just going to have to wing it. <laughs> Uh, as you can see just behind me, the sun is going down and there's the airfield right there. So many planes are going to be going over. The only thing is, yeah, it is just all grass lands here. Uh, I see some trees right there. I don't think they're trees, they're more of a bush. And a lot of you know uh, that I don't have the best stealth tent for this job. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you'll, and, uh, yeah, you'll see in a bit why uh, my tent's not too stealthy. So I gotta find a place before it gets dark. I'm also getting thirsty. Uh, I can't wait for that beverage of the hour to come. So I'm gonna continue following my nose and see what kind of trouble I'll get into. Okay, campers, I'm going to keep my voice nice and low. I know that's going to be hard for me to do, and I hope you guys could hear me, but uh, yeah, I got to keep it quiet. The path is literally just over there. I'm right across from the landing strip. I hear helicopters already around this area, so hopefully I don't get paranoid throughout the night thinking they're looking for me. But this is the nice uh, place where all the planes land, so I'll see, watch them as they land throughout the night. I'm going to try this area. Hopefully it is not visible. So I'm going to go back out and see if I can see any of my stuff. Wish me luck. Okay, so the path is literally right here. You can see the airport over there, landing strips over there. Uh, this is a high risk spot. A lot of people come here, walk their dogs, go on bikes, uh, sightsee, go for hikes, everything. So I gotta keep my voice down, especially in this spot. Uh, I didn't see any trespassing signs or anything like that, so I think we are good to go. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can see any of my stuff over there, and no, I can't. This looks like a perfect spot for my tent. All right, campers, help me out here. On three, one, two, three. Liver Jello. Ta-da! Tonight, I'm deciding not to use the orange tarp <laughs> uh, for plenty of good reasons. Let's hope it does not rain. I'm crossing my fingers because uh, it'll be nice to actually lay down and be able to sleep under the stars with a little bit of mosquito net to keep me protected. I think we have a plane coming here. And look, whoa, that is close. Wow, I cannot believe how quick the sun went down. As soon as I finish setting up, it has been dark. There's a little bit of light, but I need a light so you guys can see me. But finally, I am finished. I still have to keep my voice down because cars are still passing by and people are walking. So I cannot get caught. This is very high risk. Uh, I don't even know what they would do if they caught me. But anyways, uh, this means uh, campers only one thing. It is the beverage of the hour. And today, campers, viewers, camp counselors, I got a treat for you. I picked out a nice beer. It's called Roger That. And the reason why I chose this, it's called, if you can see that, Roger Roger That. It's an extra pale ale and it's made by the Overflow Brewing Company 
from a place, oh, it is from Canada's National Capital Region, right here in Ottawa, Ontario. And I chose it because it has a plane on there. And uh, there's sayings on here that says, Roger that, message received. So I thought this couldn't have been a better choice for the beverage of the hour. Okay, campers. I hope you can go and get those beverages of your own choice. It can be whatever floats your boat. Uh, maybe a glass of milk, maybe some Kool-Aid, whatever you like. Please go get that now so we can all do a cheers together. Uh, and today's cheers is actually going to go out to three gentlemen. Uh, one of them is Turan Studios. Uh, his name is Crow. And uh, basically, I'm doing this cheers to these three gentlemen, Crow, uh, also Hidden Hammock, Josh, and Weed in the Bush, Paul. And these gentlemen basically created the Stealth Camping Alliance. And it all started with an airport challenge. So gentlemen, thank you so much. for basically uh, starting this whole uh, alliance and getting each and every one of all the other members to go out and uh, get into a little bit in trouble and enjoy the great outdoors. So thank you very much, gentlemen. So everyone, raise your beverages of choice and let's say cheers to all three of the uh, founders of the Stealth Camping Alliance. Cheers to you, Crow, Josh, and Paul. Cheers. Oh, wow. That was well needed. <laughs> oh, delicious. So here comes one right now at night. Whoa, that is super close. Look at that. As I was sitting here enjoying the last days of summer, I soon realized that it is not summer anymore or does not feel like summer anymore. I actually had to put on a sweater and a jacket and I really wish I brought a toque to keep my head warm. It is cold out here right now. I can even see my breath. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but I can see it plain as day. Let's see. But it is cold out here. Uh, <laughs> fall is it until September 22nd, which, and how do I know that? Well, it's uh, my birthday. Uh, unfortunately, you guys, uh, viewers, campers, are going to all watch this on October 1st or 2nd, but. I came out here, uh, what day is it today? September 16th. It's nine o'clock at night, 9 p.m. And it is cold here in Canada's national capital region. You can start to see your uh, breath, which is unbelievable. <laughs> so it's gonna be a one interesting night to see if I will actually be able to even get some sleep. I hopefully my sleeping bags will keep me warm. <laughs> oh, things I do, eh? <laughs> wow. I always love this time of year. Uh, and the reason is because uh, my kids get to come home from school with boxes of chocolate to sell for fundraiser. And I guess I am their biggest customer. Uh, today, I was in a rush right after work and I was in a rush and I wanted to go out and do this stealth camp. And <laughs> I just took all the different kinds of chocolates. I got creamy maple, mm, which is my favorite. I got caramel and sea salt chocolates, milk chocolate. French mint and crispy rice. 
and <laughs> I know it's not healthy and it's not good uh, later on in life but you know what hey, it all goes to a good cause it helps out my kids and their school so uh, <laughs> but I really love this I'm gonna try actually the creamy maple because I know they are delicious so this is gonna be my uh, snack for tonight uh, satisfy my munchies I decided to go in the tent and warm up in the sleeping bag because it's cold out there. Uh, again, <laughs> you can see my breath. Uh, I think I'm going to call it uh, an early night. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy some of these tasty treats. And uh, I'm going to start getting ready for bed. It's kind of funny how they come in and they're so quiet. Look at this. Wow. I always thought it'd be a lot louder. Okay campers, I think I'm going to call this a night. I'm actually getting a little bit warmer in my little blanket here. And you know what, I'm just going to pretend that uh, my makeshift pillow here is like the clouds and I'm going to dream of my next adventure. Good night campers. Good morning campers! I survived the night. It did not rain. No wild turkeys got me or coyotes. Uh, no animals came by throughout the night. Uh, it was great. Uh, it wasn't as cool as I thought it'd be. And uh, the one thing though that I'm kind of surprised is that there hasn't been many planes flying overhead. And I just remembered that in this area we have a, a parkway where the cars go, um, where they drive by. But on the weekends, Saturday and Sundays, uh, they close that parkway for pedestrians or bicyclists or rollerbladers. Uh, to be able to use that uh, during the weekend. So that is probably why I wasn't woken up with uh, planes flying overhead, which I guess is a good thing. I was able to sleep in a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I have to get my day started, and this is the worst thing about camping, is being able to put haul your gear away and pack up to go home and there we go uh, leave no trace behind and just take away memories looks pretty good uh, no trash it's a glorious day and uh, looks like it's gonna be a fun bike ride home that was one fun adventure Thank you again to Trans Studios, Crow, Hidden Hammock, Josh, and Weed in the Bush, Paul, for just getting the Stealth Camping Alliance together. Uh, this has been one crazy year so far, and I can't wait to see what other kind of adventures each and every one of us is going to get into in the future. Today is also another special day. It's September 17th. And it's World Cleanup Day. What is World Cleanup Day? Well, World Cleanup Day is a day where people all over the world get together and they clean up their neighborhood. They clean up their local parks, uh, hiking trails, and just make the world a little bit cleaner. And this was brought to my attention from one of uh, the Stealth Camping Alliance members. Uh, his name is Rayul. And you could check him out on uh, his YouTube channel. It's called Camp Like a Boon. Uh, I'll post it somewhere around here. <laughs> so each and every one of you can go check out his channel. Thank you again, Rael, for bringing this attention to the Stealth Camping Alliance. And I'm going to go take my, uh, I'm going to take part in doing that today. I have a place uh, near my neighborhood where I used to go as a kid 
and it's a nice little park and I just want to make sure that it's nice and clean so other children and families can enjoy it as well. So campers, camp counselors, viewers, I hope you had a great time watching uh, this episode. I had fun doing it and uh, I always uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for just uh, commenting and for uh, watching. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, there's always one thing that I always want each and every one of you to always remember is to always follow your nose.